Okay, so this time on Weekend Rental, we played Rogue Stormers, a run-and-gun slash action RPG slash roguelike game, I guess, um, on PC. It's from a studio called Black Forest Games. You might know them from Gianna Sisters or the more recent Bubsy game, um, published by Handyman Games, and it came out just a few years ago in 2016. Uh, so to get into like what the game is, it's kind of a side-scrolling, I guess, Contra-style game, um, but not quite. You're able to play with up to four players online co-op, um, so that seems to work okay. Um, and it's a shared screen type of setup, so the screen moves with player one and not with anybody else. Uh, as you play along, you have to kill uh, some portals that monsters spawn out of. To unlock a boss gate, you fight the boss, you move on to the next stage. Every level's randomized, all the pickups are uh, very rogue inspired, they give you certain buffs or certain nerfs, um, or both. It's got a radial style control setup where you're aiming with the right stick or a mouse and you can shoot in any direction. You're not necessarily tied to uh, orthogonal directions. We're playing it because it was cheap in a fan uh, fanatical. It's a bundle for $3, pick up to six games. This was one of the games. Um, you know, it was one of the few with online multiplayer. That's the only criteria I had. <laughs> uh, so before we kind of have a group discussion, we're going to go around uh, the selector table and hear what our players thought today. And Neosense will start us off today. So what did I think of Rogue Stormers? I didn't like it very much. Uh, I don't know what it's supposed to be, really. Um, but it looks kind of cool in a gross, pukey, 3D ogre kind of way. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I, don't, I don't think I'll ever be playing this game again. It was co-op online. And it was sub $1 for purchase point <laughs> or somewhere around that sweet spot. But yeah, I guess I'll pass on to my next selector. I don't have much else to say. All right, pants problems. Give us a skinny, get a scoop. What'd you think? The skinny? All right. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm confused enough that it's like not insulting, I guess. So it's a, you know, confusing game. Imagine designing a mobile free-to-play game, but not charging any money for it. That's basically what this game is. Um, confusing mobile, but not mobile twin-stick side-scrolling shooter that I can confirm I think is a video game. Um, it's bizarre. I, I don't like it. I don't even know what to, to make of it. I don't even I don't understand why this was kickstarted and who backed it and like what they wanted from this. Unless they just wanted a video game because I can confirm it is a video game. But I I I would I would not play this again because I really don't know what I played. To be honest, it, it's 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 weird. Yeah, I mean that's that I don't even know how to formulate thoughts on this game, so I'm just going to go ahead and move along. Diamond time, what do you think? We'll we'll talk about the details later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, uh, yeah, the, the all, all, all appropriate appraisals for this game. Very confusing. I think that that's probably the common denominator here, is that we're all a little baffled by what we've just been through. Uh, that game, um, I don't know, just kind of three. I mean, I'll say this: a lot was left a mystery to me um, throughout the thing. Uh, the reason that any of it was happening what any of the things did etc um but you know maybe that's more illuminated if you go the single player story mode route um i don't know the camera was a little bit too far back for me to really feel invested in any way um with what was happening um as mentioned before the camera just sort of followed one character which didn't make any sense at all because there uh everybody was connected through their own through their own thing uh it, it's not it's not a local multiplayer thing we're not all looking at the same screen um but it didn't bother me one way or the other if i was oh no i'm over here kind of like I, I didn't have any investment in seeing any of the things that i was missing out on um i didn't have any invest I, when i died it was a relief uh such is life 
I don't know. We can move on. <laughs> I think that pretty much sums it up. I'll wrap us up. Um, yeah, uh, like everybody else, I'm baffled, so kind of confused. Would die. <laughs> yeah. Let me out of this trap. Um, it's unique. It's there's not like like other stuff like it that does it. It's not unique in a great way. Uh, it, it's stylistically offensive to me. Uh, but some people may like the WoW look and like really boring industrial design of all the levels. I felt frustrated a lot of the time I was playing it because I wanted it to give me some kind of satisfaction when I killed a boss, but really I was just like, okay, I can move on to the next thing. Didn't really care for the pickups so uh, that I was getting, so like my character progression wasn't uh, noticeably, be noticeably different as, as I got different things. So I would say avoid it. I gave it a two because it is a functional game. It did provide a little bit of fun um, mechanically. I think it's all there for what they were trying to do. Um, it doesn't like fail at it. I just don't know if it should have been done. No one chose to ask why. <laughs> Everyone said, yes, how? We can do this. No one said, why the fuck are we doing this? <laughs> yeah, so what are we doing in this game? Um, I kind of gave a, a quick you know, description at the beginning. Um, any other thoughts on, on the mechanics of what we're shooting, we're shooting endlessly, which yeah, is yeah. good. There I was want... never any reason to stop shooting. I want to shoot, but I never knew if I had alternative weapons and how much was left in them or when to use them. I, I know there were some indicators, but I never got a hang of it. Why I was shooting often came into question. Yeah, a lot of the time I thought I was able to shoot the um, enemy spawning portals, but you're not. Or could you? I couldn't even tell. I couldn't tell. There wasn't a lot of feedback. Yeah, you're supposed to destroy the portals that the enemies are coming out of. I think you're supposed to destroy a certain amount before you can get to the boss. I'm not actually sure. Maybe you just hit the open button to get to the boss. Uh, that also seemed to work, but maybe we had destroyed all the portals. Anyway, I couldn't tell if you were blowing them up or if they just get depleted of enemies. Some, something happened to them. Something certainly happened to them. But yeah, the, mechanically, I, I couldn't tell you what was going on. I think I picked up a thing at one point and it said, oh, well, now you've got 10% more of grace pe grace period. Grace. Never found out what grace period was. <laughs> I don't know if there's a menu somewhere where you can go and check your progress on Addiction. things like how your grace period's doing. But I, I don't know what the grace period is for. I think it's probably um, after you get hit, you blink and don't take damage. It seems like what a grace mm, period would be. Mm, but mm, that's mm. just let okay. me read okay. between some lines. There is that's a shitload of story. There's a lot of story and yeah. lore. Evidently. I, I kind of want, I, I like really want to go back and read through Kickstarter comments and figure out what the fuck was going on and like why. <laughs> we, yeah. I, I don't know what specific thing this was trying to solve because I feel like there's a bunch of this stuff out there already. So like, what were they saying this need, the world needs more of? Like, cause I, I don't know what I just spent an hour and a half doing and I don't like know uh, what the original what the original intent was for this thing yeah this game has a storied past um it went through two kickstarters i think it had nine years in gestation um wow it looks like it did <laughs> <laughs> so it might have looked yeah. pretty impressive nine years ago yeah and it was originally supposed to be called diesel stormers if you look at the steam community <laughs> page for it a lot of people still call it diesel stormers. Ah, they all have engines on their back too, so that makes sense. There's a lot of there's a lot of that. Well, I'm only calling it diesel stormers from now on. I can tell you that much. In the U.S., somebody owns the rights to put diesel in the name of any video game related thing. Is it Vin Diesel? <laughs> it's not Vin Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> it's my D and D board. That would be a good cherry on the top. Of this. So we couldn't call it that. I think the name Rogue Stormers is pretty boring. But yeah, you're turning all the goblins into diesel at the end of every level. I think that's what the black goo that they get. Why is it? It's it's blue. It's blue. It's not even fucking. What? That's crude diesel. Crude. Stuff. Yeah, it's not refined. Is it? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. It's I don't know how. I don't know how big petroleum works. <laughs> And it, everyone's made out of like like car parts. 
Like yeah. a yeah. singer with a bunch of mufflers on what? it. But why did it have like a fucking Universal Studios haunted house theme for every goddamn level? Fuck. Why are we in a haunted yeah. house castle? <laughs> yeah, I it's, see. It's spooky yeah, time. Okay. Or like mechanical peacocks just running it's around. Pretty spooky. Uh, I'll, g I'll give him this. It's spooky. Hey, I'm scared. Well, no, it was a haunted house, and then we were in the factory. You gotta, we you gotta give it that. With the pirate ship in it. With the pirate ship in it. With the pirate ship in it. Not very. I mean, I would have liked some ice, you know, ice caverns, uh, magma, you wow. know, magma volcano, whatever forests. Um, but you know, we redid the first two levels a bunch of times, so maybe you get different ones as you go on. But why not mix it up while you're going through, you know, your repeat sessions? Keep people interested. Yeah, you got to have your ice, your fire, your Whatever. trees, your something you know. not gray or brown. Um, it's it's 2020 here. It's 2016. I mean, I think we were over that at that point. Um, let's talk about game feel. Let me talk a little bit about mm. mechanics. For yeah. me, there's not impact in it, and everything takes way too much damage. Uh, and I, you know, you can shoot all the time. You can shoot your Alt weapons all the time. I kind of wish you had to reload, um, and I kind of mm. wish things recoiled more when you shot them, or somehow reacted instead of just pulsating. Um, yeah, that's that's my main Certainly. thought. Yeah, I, I felt about the same shooting at the wall as I did at those little goblins when they're coming around. Right. I even had. Like I was killing them on accident most of the I time. I had vibration on, and I didn't feel a thing. I felt totally <laughs> detached. Yeah. Um, I will say the movement felt good. Walking around, air oh, dashing. Yeah. That felt pretty good. That was kind of cool. It was serviceable. Yeah. Yeah, it, can, it, it felt good to not know what I was doing. <laughs> like, you know, just kind of going through platforms and dashing and... Uh, I, good for I, a uh, lark. Yeah. Yeah, it, it just was like a little light show. You just kept shooting weird blue shit everywhere and not really knowing what you're doing. But it felt good, I guess. But you never really knew what you were hitting. I don't know. I don't know where to go with this. This game's... Just felt weird. Yeah. 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 I, I thought that I. I mean, it was not the friendliest for multiplayer. But it is too much color for this game to have more than one character, <laughs> like shooting, because it just becomes this big sea of sparkly blue. Yeah. And then I find my red d doused character amongst the blue. As Pants probably was saying, I wish the bullets you were shooting were a certain color, like to match your color char your character. Because yeah. otherwise yeah. it's just a big blur of blue, and if there's people in it, you know, you can't see okay. yourself. Who killed what? Who cares? No idea. Um, do you get yeah. experience points for killing things? I don't know. I don't know. It's a good question. We leveled up. I'm not sure why. <laughs> yeah, what was that all about? Because you got gold, I think, <laughs> or is that when you unlock the characters? We unlock. Oh yeah, um, only one character yeah. unlocked from the start of the game, which makes it very bland uh, to go in with four people expecting to be able to like pick different characters, for instance. Especially when the the cover art is just a bunch of characters. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a big mob of I don't know what. You look at it and you're like, this looks like a middle schooler's uh, heavy metal doodle on their huh? notebook. <laughs> Yeah, made a heavy metal doodle. Yeah, we talk about the art for a second. Yeah, let's um, talk about the art. Yeah. Go ahead. The, the elephant in the room are absurd, like goopy ogres that are polished and piss yellow, <laughs> wearing underpants. It's weird. It's honestly, it's weird. I don't know what. <laughs> yeah. I can't compare it to anything. It felt very much like a video game I would have played at my cousin's house when I was up to 13 years old. Like, like, like from a young age leading up to being around 13. And your cousin may have bought it from Sam's Club. <laughs> like in, yeah. a, in a giant metal bin. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. The goblins. It was the one that their parents let them pick. The the goblins, like the standard mooks, look like they're from anywhere. They don't look like. Yeah. There's nothing different about them. They look like you could have just Unity it. shopped that and just dropped it in your yes. game. The underpants goblin. Uh, you know, I like him. Uh, he seemed unique. Could have dealt with more underpants ever goblin. danger, the nemesis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did the most damage. Um. The bosses, they, they kind of suck. 
It sucked. Yeah. It has some fucking R type ass bosses in it. Like, not I don't even though. Know why. They're not as interesting as R type yeah, bosses. When, yeah, when, like, but the, a mechanically, the boss, yes. That second boss I survived by walking right up to him um, and then holding the click button at a 45 degree angle upwards and towards him. And uh, I, I ended up with two health at the end of it and survived the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he that's had the height the mechanics, right? Mm -hmm. the boss yeah. is supposed to be the mechanics coming together. And it, 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 <laughs> if you just stand next to him and do the thing, probably be all right. I think there's something beautiful about it just fucking dump trucking us in right in the game with no explanation, <laughs> nothing, and we're just yeah. like fucking like yeah. flopping around and just going that. <laughs> that yeah. squid thing carrying us around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we it, spent a long even... time just totally lost. Why was that there? It was right beside the starting thing, and it just takes you right back to the starting. Uh, there's no rhyme or reason, but it did have like a taxi hat on. It, we it, never saw one again. Taxi. No, nothing. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting to see it again, you know, later in levels, and then it tells, teleports you back to a store or something, but no, nothing like that ever happened. I, I like always how weird it is. We're, we're going to have like 15 minutes of uh, press this button tutorial boxes when we start a new game, and there's absolutely nothing. We weren't sure if we were in a menu still. Yeah, I, I feel like they could have, like, gated multiplayer mode and said hey do a tutorial first we probably wouldn't have liked that but it seems like a little little, little introductions it. necessary um because you can't go in blind i mean we we wasted a whole level and we had to quit we were so confused <laughs> we had to quit and restart <laughs> the game um just to get a better foothold and not a good quality yeah Technically, it's like shockingly sound. Everything like runs super fucking well, and like the networking is really good from what I can see. I mean, it's it's a little it's like, fragile. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've I've seen way worse and like you know more big budget things. It just it it was like kind of the opposite thing you would expect to just kind of blow up, but it worked and it shouldn't have. I mean, not saying that like it was better for working, but you know it it. I don't know. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, the way it looked, it felt like it was going to have really bad net code. And yeah, we, <laughs> like, we put a lot of care into this garbage you're playing. <laughs> yeah, just need to take those Europeans computer privileges away. I think maybe I've said that before. Is this the <laughs> Don't let them do this anymore. Is this modern Euro jank? Yeah, this is that <laughs> modern. It's, it, when the yeah. Germans aren't making like work simulators they're making stuff like this <laughs> this is what happens when a fucking sentient amiga makes a game <laughs> absolutely um so i'm gonna close this out i mean obviously we all think you should avoid this game if you're looking for something like it i've played a game called 20xx um it is a roguelike um action side scrolling 2d platformer game very much in the Mega Man x vein um but it more satisfying it's much more satisfying same. Um, and it looks better. And they're making a sequel soon. The netcode on that sucks, though. Don't bother. It it falls apart. But if you're playing solo, play that instead. Um, but yeah, Rogue Stormers. Uh, don't play it. <laughs> don't play it. Glowing endorsement. <laughs> Thank you all. Yeah. No, no diesel Stormers for me. In the, in the I have never wanted to enter, like fucking put my credit card information into a game more and just couldn't. <laughs> like, will this just make it more? Just like, there's gotta give be me the coins. There are so many coins. I need, <laughs> I need it. Come on. Like, money yeah, show me your fucking money. hand, you lying game. <laughs> yeah, they could have made it fun. It, that would have been good. It could have been just, cool. It looks just for like a couple it. bucks. I would have paid a couple bucks for it yeah, to be I, more fun. I'd still play this over Brawl Out. Look how across True. the board confusing this was. All of us agree. This game is confusing. It is. I feel like I just like need to reflect in a cold shower. <laughs> Chaos reigns. What in God's name yeah. did I just play? Like I, I like I want to play a single player, just like a playthrough. No, you don't. I know I don't, but you should str just stream it. Yeah, 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 maybe. What did I miss? Just, maybe. Yeah. yeah, at a slower pace by myself, 
Could I it, understand it? It seems like it's, it's so like a video more. game, like like Donald Trump's stakes. Like remember those? Like yeah. like it's a really good video game. We put all the game in there. We could get. It's a game. You <laughs> shoot and you can shoot the goblins, and they and they're shooting all the goblins. It's a really good game. Not many people played a game as good as this, but it's a good one. It's got it's diesel. diesel. It's got diesel. We we got diesel in the game. There's di you like diesel, am I right? The American diesel. Uh, Vinny Diesel. <laughs> Vinny D. <laughs> exactly. Diesel owns the rights for naming a game Diesel. <laughs> Somebody owns it. Yeah. Exxon That's or great. something. With Not like, even. Um, I don't even know like what game. Kibosh what game know? starts with Diesel? Or has nah. Diesel in the name? I gotta look at that Wikipedia mm. again. Yeah. There's no like fucking. Shitty PC racing simulator that starts with diesel, like Diesel Master. Oh. Diesel's diesel SBA, SPA. Diesel Brothers. All their Italian. Brothers truck building simulator. Ah. Uh, I'll drop into weekend rental. This is. Okay. <laughs> I, guess well, I, can... I got nothing to spend my time on. Better fire like a... up truck building simulator. The <laughs> <laughs> thing is, I feel like the only people into that are people who fucking build trucks for a living. Why would you do that in your spare time? Like. Uh, you just can't stop. 